Hello friends, today we are going to learn about aerobic and anaerobic respiration from the chapter Respiration in Organisms of class 7th. Before proceeding, I want to tell something about respiration. Every organism needs energy to carry out its life process. All living organisms need oxygen for the breakdown of digested food to obtain energy. Respiration is the process of taking in oxygen, using it for the release of energy by the breakdown of food and eliminating the waste products like carbon dioxide and water. It involves two steps, external respiration which is also known as breathing and internal respiration which is also known as cellular respiration. Cellular respiration is of two types, aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration. First, we will learn about aerobic respiration. Breakdown of food, glucose into carbon dioxide and water to release energy using oxygen is called aerobic respiration. In aerobic respiration, oxygen is used. Most of the living organisms carry out aerobic respiration and such organisms are called aerobes. Aerobic respiration is most efficient form of the respiration. It can be represented by the following equation. Glucose and oxygen combines in aerobic respiration they forms carbon dioxide, water and energy. Now we will learn about anaerobic respiration. Breakdown of food, glucose into alcohol and carbon dioxide with the release of energy without the use of oxygen is called anaerobic respiration. In anaerobic respiration there is no use of oxygen. Only simple organisms like yeast and some bacteria carry out anaerobic respiration and such organisms are called anaerobes. The amount of energy given out in anaerobic respiration is much much less than in aerobic respiration. It can be represented by the following equation. Glucose without the use of oxygen when anaerobic respiration takes place, alcohol, it forms alcohol, carbon dioxide and energy. Difference between aerobic and anaerobic respiration Aerobic respiration takes place in the presence of oxygen but anaerobic respiration takes place in the absence of oxygen. There is a complete breakdown of food in aerobic respiration but there is an incomplete breakdown of food in anaerobic respiration. The end products are carbon dioxide and water in aerobic respiration but the end products in anaerobic respiration are carbon dioxide and alcohol. The amount of energy released in aerobic respiration is very large but in anaerobic respiration a very small amount of energy is released. So that's all from my side. If you like the video please comment, share and click the like button and do not forget to subscribe our channel Free Studies for more interesting and knowledgeable videos. Thanks a lot.